Okay, so the other day someone asked me if I could do a setup guide for the Sega Hikaru system in RetroBat, and I think I pronounced that right. So in this video, I'm going to show you which bar files you need, and I'm also going to show you the best settings to get with RetroBat. So check this video out. <laughs> Okay, so Sega Hikuru, and like I said in my intro, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm going to show you how to get this up and running. So a very simple tutorial this one. What we're going to do is do what I always do actually, just right click on your RetroBat shortcut, open file location, and from here we're going to go to Bat GUI, uh, system list as always, and system, and we're going to have Hikuru just here and it's requiring just dot zip extensions for this so like i said a very easy one so let's actually look at the bios files you're going to need for this so we're going to go into the bios folder and there's nothing in there right now they're on my desktop and the bios files you need are to be in dot zip format also as well as your game so I'm going to drag both of my BIOS files for this system into my BIOS folder. And they need to be as they are. So you don't need to put them inside any other folder. They just sit in there nice and got that. Now, there's a few games for this system. And the one I'm using is Star Wars Racer. Uh, pretty much made famous on the Sega Dreamcast. So under ROMs folder, you're going to find the folder to put this in. And here it is, Hikuru. And I'm going to just drag this one in here. And that's all there is to it, really. So let's open up RetroBat. And once we're inside RetroBat, we are going to find the logo for the system, Sega Hikuru. So let's just open this up. And I'm going to scrape some artwork for this. So scraper, scrape now. And that shouldn't take too long. Like I said, there's literally just a handful of games on this system. And once that's done scraping, what I'm going to do is just go to main menu, game settings, update game list, and really update game list. Yes. And here we go. So we got the preview video with this, and we've got the artwork as well. So I'm going to open this up now. And it's going to ask us to install emulator, which is Demule. And Demule is very similar to Dreamcast. Even got the Dreamcast logo just there. And that's going to boot us straight into the game. But I want to show you some settings, actually. Ah. Now, I'm afraid I'm not going to play this game for too long. Uh, just give it a quick test so you can see it's running. So let's just get out of here for now. So what I'm going to do is just exit out. And I'm going to go back into the emulators folder for this. So RetroBat, right click, open file location. And in my emulators folder, I should now have under Demule, the emulator itself. So from here, I'm going to configure my PS3 controller that I always use for these videos. So configure, controls. And for this, I'm going to go to the arcade section. So Joy1. Now, digital, you just need to you just need to define your controller to correspond with this. So, digital down. Uh, so, for digital, what I'm doing, I'm just using my D-pad on my PS3 controller. Uh, analog is my left stick analog on my controller, and analog two, I'm just using my right stick for this one. So once this is done, it's going to save. And also make sure to use a coin button. I'm going to use select on my controller for the coin button. Uh, service, I'm going to just press number one on my keyboard. Now your push buttons are pretty much your action buttons for the games. So if you've got a lot of buttons on the controller you're using, just utilize your controller and make the most of that. And there we go. So once you've done this, just press OK. And I'm going to press OK again. Now, whilst we're in this emulator, I'm going to go back to config. And I'm going to go to video. And there's a few options here, which I'm going to check, which is going to give you the best performance I found for this. 
So disable auto start, disable opac modifier, and disable translucent modifier. Uh, like I said, for me, that's the best settings. You've also got internal resolution, which are going to make your games look better. So I tend to keep this to six times on this one. And I'm also going to put aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Now, layers. Now, layers, I found that these, by changing them, don't really make a great deal of difference. But I'm going to just leave this one on 64. So let's OK this. And everything's now saved. And let's go back into Retrobat. Now, enter back into Hakuru again. I'm going to press Select. Now, under decorations, we can put decorations on this, but it's not very our case like this type of system was really meant for a big screen. So I'm going to put none on this. Shader set. I'm going to just go to auto, but you can experiment with these different shaders. Uh, you also got scan lines there. So auto internal resolution, as I did a minute ago through the emulator itself, I selected this as six times. Vertical Sync, you want to enable this one to eliminate any screen tear in your games. Game Aspect Ratio, by Auto, like I was just saying, games like this was literally made for uh, 16 by 9 widescreen ratio TVs or whatever they were used for at the time. Uh, screen Type, we got a different selection here. So from my experience in this type of thing, VGA works best and that's likely why it's going to detect VGA first if we put this to Auto. Uh, smooth Games... Again, if you leave this to auto, it's going to pick up on. So if you want to turn that off, turn it off. But just to let you know that bilinear filtering softens up your games. And under emulation CPU mode, I'm going to just leave this to auto as well. So we've done all the video settings. And let's open up Star Wars Pod Racer. <laughs> And here we go, so my controller's actually working. I'm using my D-pad to go from easy, normal. The young human boy, Anakin Skywalker. Start your engine. So thankfully for your own sake, I didn't hear Anakin Skywalker say, yeah, I won. So you also notice that the gameplay in this is very different to the Dreamcast version that most people are used to. So that's it for my Sega Hakuru Retrobat guide today. Uh, if you like this video, check out my other Retrobat tutorials. And be sure to hit notifications for future content for Retrobat, Batacera, Launchbox, and Retroarch. I cover a lot of different front-end systems nowadays as well as standalone emulation. So also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.